Hi everyone, I'm your host Sammy Parcher and this is Lenaway. We take our cameras on the road to show you some of the great things going on in our schools and around the district. And today we are at Adrian Schools. I'm a junior at the Adrian High School and also a student in the Video and Auto Productions class at the Tech Center. And, and this is my first time hosting the show, so bear with me. There is another person I want to introduce to you. And this is our Rover reporter and our co-host, Brianna. Hi, Brianna. Hi. Um, so, Brianna, tell me about yourself. I'm a student at Adrian Middle School 7-8. I like cats and theater. Awesome, awesome. So, students can really get, get creative here at Adrian Schools. And they are showing off their skills at Perry Elementary School. Let's check it out. I'm here at, the, at Perry Elementary School talking to a couple students about their art projects. I'm here with Natalie today. And uh, Natalie, what was your inspiration for this uh, art project? How I got my idea was from a play, a fifth and sixth play that I was in called The Lion King, and I was the lead character, so I, and I was a lion, so I got the idea that I should make a lion for my mask. Hello, my name is Aiden, and I'm a student at Prairie Elementary, and today I'm interviewing Ronald. Hello. What is your inspiration? My inspiration was Miss UT's total pull. What was your favorite part of the artwork? Adding all the details. How did you make it? I started with the piece of clay and I started rolling it into a ball and then shaving it with my fingers and then sticking it on to the stick that we put into a block and I started adding all to the, all the details. And I'm Mr. Perez and I'm the principal at Prairie Elementary School and today I get the privilege of interviewing Yoseline here, a Prairie student, fifth grader at Prairie Elementary School. You want to say hello to the camera? And can you tell us a little bit about um, your art class? What are the things that you are creating in art and why do you like art? I like art because you can get inspired a little bit more by stuff that Miss Yutzi shows on the um, board. Hi, I'm Mrs. Yutzi. I teach here at Prairie Elementary. And uh, my favorite thing about art is teaching my students. What we're doing today is we're uh, learning about lighthouses. We looked at Michigan lighthouses. We're making connections to uh, things we already know about Michigan. Many of us have visited lighthouses in the summer or have uh, went on trips where we've seen them. So we're using our personal experiences to connect to our artwork and to share those experiences through our artwork. That concludes our session here at Prairie Elementary School. This is Sammy signing off. They really have a great teacher in that class. When we come back, Brianna is going to start the arm wrestling challenge. You won't want to miss it. Is everybody. Light check. One, two, one, two. Everything looks good on our end. And lights. Come alive with the forest. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. <laughs> Sometimes all it takes to be a dad is remembering how to be a kid again. Take time to be a dad today. Everywhere that we go, he makes people laugh and makes people smile, and I feel like I have that quality. He's the one who always takes me fishing. I watch golf with him. And <laughs> I watch him cook, because when I grow up, I want to be a cook, too. We have the same faces like this. Dad is the one, when you fall, that picks you up. That unconditional sense of presence and um, reassurance is really what makes him my father. May I please have an application? Thank you. Skip the drama. Get your diploma. Find free adult education classes at finishyourdiploma.org. Welcome back. I'm your host, Sammy, and this is Lenaway. We have a lot of fun here at Adrian Schools, and here at the 7-8 building, we are putting a couple of kids together for our arm wrestling championship. Let's send it over, over to Rover reporter, Brianna. Here we are at the arm wrestling challenge with... I'm Landon Dale. Olivia Tirada. Arm wrestle, go. Oh, it seems like Landon is winning. Olivia's fighting back. Ooh, Land Landon is taking it. Ooh, takes down. Landon defeated Olivia. How do you feel? I feel good. My 
elbow hurts. Here we go for another challenge. And our rubber reporter, Brianna, has a hula hoops. I'm here at the hula hoop challenge. What's your name? Cole Carrico. What's your name? Vivian Bar What's your name? Grace Bowen. What's your name? Aliana. What's your guys' team name? Soggy Ramen. What's your guys' team name? Adrian Extreme. <laughs> Good team name. You guys all know how the game works. One. No, you cannot hit them. Okay, ready, set, go. Ooh, it seems like Adrian Extreme isn't going too hot. We got one, it to go again. Team Robbie Robertson is not doing too hot either. Ooh, Adrian Extreme taking the lead. Adrian Extreme is the winner of this challenge. How do you feel about winning? It was really fun. I'm glad we won. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, it was fun and I'm glad we won. <laughs> well, that was fun. Don't go anywhere as we'll be right back after this. The inherent right to work is one of the elemental privileges of a free people. Endowed as our nation is with abundant physical resources, and inspired as it should be to make those resources and opportunities available for the enjoyment of all, we approach re-employment with the real hope of finding a better answer than we have now. Donate to Goodwill, where your donations help fund job placement and training for people in your community. Life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire, but you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. Go for a mouthful, go for the fun. Go, go for go cake. For cake. Yeah. for everyone. Just one stack is what it takes. And it's go for, go for, go for cakes. Open wide, stuff your face. There's always room for more, go for cakes. Exercised lately. Till you explode. Don't let E. coli mosh with your food. An estimated 3,000 Americans die from a foodborne illness each year. So always separate raw meat from vegetables. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. We have a couple other kids helping us give you the behind the scenes look at what goes on here. We put a GoPro on my friend Olivia's head. What kind of things do you want to show us? Um, basically what the classrooms are like on a day-to-day -day basis and what the teachers are like. Sounds awesome. We'll see you soon. Hi, my name is Valerie Poupard. I'm a Spanish teacher here at Lincoln. I teach young fives all the way through sixth grade. We have colors. We have days of the weeks, months of the year. We are going over a variety of topics in a variety of ways. The young students love to sing and dance. They love art projects, and they're learning so much of culture. They're learning about their own community. Can you guys say something in Spanish? Mi escuela. And what does that mean? M my school. Hola. What does that mean? Hello. Rare day. What does that mean? Green. What's your favorite part about the class? Like, is it the lessons? Is it, uh, you know, just learning about it or, you know? Uh, just learning about it, I guess. Counting to 30. We're connecting all what we learn in Spanish class to the material they already know, such as the months and days of the week they've already learned at these young levels. And that sums up the elementary Spanish program. Go Maples! It is a very val valuable communication skill to learn another language, and these kids are getting a great start. Now I'm joined by Mr. Parker. Hi, Mr. Parker. How are you, Sammy? Good to see you back here. Good to see you, too. So I got a couple questions for you here. So, so tell me about what, what, what do you do here at Adrian Schools? I am the principal for Adrian Middle School 7-8. Uh, this is actually my seventh year here with the Adrian School District, and all those years have been here at, the, at Springbrook AMS 7-8. Awesome, awesome. So um, tell me. What are some of the goals you have for your students here? You know, we talk to them a lot about we're preparing them for the high school, which it, to them it seems like it's a long ways away, but it's really not. For the 8th graders, they're half a year away. For the 7th graders, they're a year and a half. So at the start of every year, 
we talk to them about our goal is to get them ready for the high school, both academically but also socially and how they interact with each other and their teachers so that when they go to the high school they can hit the ground running and be prepared. Awesome. I actually remember, you know, I always look back and just think that I was once in seventh grade. I, can, I feel like it was just yesterday. So uh, another question is, um, what is your favorite part of your job? I think my favorite part of the job is anything that gets me back interacting with kids on a regular basis. I mean, lunch duty, a lot of people think it would be a drag, but it's really not. This is a time during the day when I get a chance to interact with the kids again, see how things are going, uh, develop those connections and relationships. And that would be one of them. I think the other one is just the chance to get to work with the outstanding teaching staff we have here. We have some great teachers here who really care about kids and put in a lot of time and hard work, and it's, it's, it's a privilege for me to get to work with that staff. Olivia, out and around the school with the hat cam going. Let's see what she's up to. That sounded really great. Our Roman reporter, Brianna, is busy with another challenge here in the seventh and eighth grade lunch period. And this time, she has the tennis balls out. We're back with the tennis ball challenge. We're here with Avery and Kylie and Brooke and Brianna. What we're doing is one person throws the ball to the other, and then the, they both spin and take a step back from each other, and then whoever drops the ball first loses. Ooh, it looks like Kylie and Brianna have won. Here we are with the winners. How do you feel? I feel shocked. How do you feel, Brianna? Good. How do you guys feel about losing? I feel sad. It's not first. <laughs> it's, not it's okay, Brooke. Well, that was a tough competition. I'm here again with, with uh, Principal Ms. Parker. So, Mr. Parker, what are some challenges that you may face as a principal here? You know, there, there's challenges to any job, I think. Um, obviously, when you're working with 440-some students and 20-some teachers, um, human nature, there's going to be challenges, there's going to be things to iron out. But for the most part, um, we've got great staff here, we've got great students. Um, I think more of the challenges come from requirements that the state puts down on us all the time and with things constantly changing, the target changes, uh, more mandates with less funds. Um, I think definitely the biggest challenge is trying to keep up with what the state's requiring um, in, in, in implementing those mandates when they don't give you any funds to do so. Sounds like a lot of stuff. Um, so um, I have to ask you, um, I know it's been a couple years since I've been here, um, what, what, what's new at the 7-8? Um, there's a lot going on new. We have a new advanced science class that um, we put in last year. The students had to write an essay to get into it. They had to apply. They had to meet certain testing criteria. And then the big part of it was that they had to commit to doing a, a science project in Lenawee County Science Fair. So we'll have 27 entries in the Lenawee County Science Fair from that class this year. Ms. Hartung is teaching it. She's doing an outstanding job of challenging those kids and giving them some real-world experiences and stretching them beyond what they're normally used to being stretched. Um, a lot new going on over the summer. We, last year we passed a bond. Uh, thank you, voters of the, in Adrian. We really appreciate your support on the bond. But the 7-8 building is probably getting most, uh, not most of it, but the largest percentage of that Money is being spent at the 7-8 building with a lot of upgrades. A lot of stuff behind, behind the walls and above the ceilings that you won't really see, but that needed to be updated just as part of routine maintenance. Um, the things you will see that will be very cool are we're getting two brand new state-of-the-art STEM labs, uh, science, technology, engineering, and math that our students are going to be able to take advantage of. Um, we're going to have two for a middle school. We'll have two of the neatest science spaces anywhere I can think of. So we're looking forward to that. The library is also getting a makeover to kind of update that, bring that into you know, this century so that kids can use it. It's more of a friendly space for both teachers and students to use. Um, so we are currently preparing for that. That is all in anticipation of the sixth graders coming over here next year. Currently, we're a seventh and eighth grade building. Next year, we'll have the sixth graders over here as well. 
Uh, we're looking forward to that. A lot of planning is going on behind the scenes to prepare for that and as always to improve any, all of our programs so that we're doing what's right for students. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> so, um, so speaking of that science class that Mr. Parker was talking about, um, we had our cameras speaking on the class, so let's check that out. And we're here with Ms. Hartung, um, teacher of advanced science, and we're going to ask her a couple of questions. So Ms. Hartung, how are you feeling about this year and your classes? Uh, this year's been uh, a lot of fun and challenging because this is the first year that Adrian Middle School has an advanced science class and the reason it's so fun is everything is all hands-on and kids are taking responsibility for their own education. Every week the kids um, get a challenge and they have to build, engineer, um, or and research uh, different projects. We build our own things. Uh, we use our 3D printers. As you saw with one of the science fair projects, the whole thing with the rockets was completely done in 3D printers. Even the launcher itself was a 3D printer. So that's kind of a new thing. The kids have enjoyed that. Hi, so what did you guys do in this project? What was your process and how did it come to be? So we were talking about the aerodynamics of a rocket and then uh, how it affected, affected the flight. So we launched nine times and we switched the nose cones each time because we couldn't switch the fins. So and then we recorded the data and then put it all together and then did the mean, median, mode, and range. We put a lot of effort into it. Using one of our opportunities to fly, to actually fly a plane, Colonel King would fly the plane up into the air and then he would just basically say, it's your plane, and he would start flying the plane. So how long did it take you guys to actually know everything that you had to know? Well really we didn't like mess with like, a, like any of the controls on the plane. All we did is steer it. Yeah, the chemistry for Halloween, like the chemistry, um, just the dissection unit all together and just basically everything hands on. So did, do you guys like the class? Yeah, it's a lot like more hands-on and just enjoyable than some of the other science classes we've done because the other ones are more note-taking than actual experiments but this one we get to do a lot of different experiments for. Hi I'm Mason Rupley. I'm a junior at Adrian High School and I'm here with LISD TV at Lincoln Elementary and I'm here with Mrs. Demerit. What do you teach here? I'm teaching elementary technology this year. What are your students working on right now in class? Right now we're working on basics of computer coding. Uh, my third graders just started today with Ozobots. Our fifth graders are going to start with Bloxels this week. Fourth grade and second grade are working on code.org and first and kinder or kindergarten first and young fives are working on build with Legos and Tinker. When I walked into class I noticed the students had computers. Can you tell me more about that? Here at Lincoln we use Chromebooks for technology class. At Alexander, Michener and Prairie we're using the computer lab so they have a desktop computer. Um, each kid gets the experience of both of them because we have Chromebooks in our general ed classrooms but for technology class here at Lincoln we're using Chromebooks where everywhere else we use desktops. How long has Adrian offered this specials class? This is the first year we've offered elementary technology as a special. Um, it came from a need from the teachers for the kids to have more experience using technology and as a response to what the parents in the community were asking for our kids to spend more time learning technology to better prepare them when they get to the middle school and the high school and then eventually the workforce. Thank you, Mr. Demerit, for giving us your time to talk about your class. Absolutely, anytime. So Principal Parker, I do have to say, we, we do have a lot of competitive bu bunch of kids here, don't we? So, um, have you ever speed stack cups? I have not speed stack cups. <laughs> I'm, looking at, I'm looking forward to seeing that, though. Alrighty. Our roving reporter, Brianna, has a challenge. It's stack up and ready to go. I'm here with the cup stacking challenge, where the two players will stack their cups and put them down. Whoever's the fastest wins. I'm here with... Blake. And... Damien. Ready, set, go. And it seems like Blake has won. How do you feel about this, Blake? A good win. How do you feel about this? He's still horrible. Thank you. Well, that's our show. Thanks for being with us here at Adrian Schools. You just got a little glimpse of all the great things happening here in our schools. And now you know why we are so happy to be at Adrian Maple. I'm Sammy Parcher, your host. This is Brianna, our, our reporter. And, thank, and a special thanks to Olivia, our hat camp person. Thanks for watching.